Evening everyone, this is Paul Klee of the Gazette and Gazette.com. I'm joining you from a top Qualcomm stadium shortly after the Broncos beat the Chargers. Again, 22 to 10. We're going to write tomorrow about Peyton Manning and some of the things that he overcame in terms of the flu symptoms that he had, in terms of the thigh injury. The old quarterback went through a lot tonight, but real quick on the defensive side. Again, the Broncos defense carries the day for Denver and they needed every bit that they got. One thing that may go overlooked about the defensive effort tonight was they lost two linebackers. Not only two linebackers, but the two guys who get the play calls in through their helmet. Those are the guys with green dots on their helmet. They lose Brandon Marshall. They lose Danny Trevathan. Chris Harris, the cornerback, said they were having a very hard time getting plays in because they didn't have the guys with the, with the microphones in their helmet. They couldn't resort to hand signals because Mike McCoy and the Chargers know those signals. Chris said that that was one of the struggles that they had, especially in the second half. The Broncos defense still played one of its better games of the season. It's looking to be peaking, as Terrence Knighton said, and that's a very good thing because the offense has not been as fluid as we've been accustomed to with Peyton Manning back there. It's a great win for the Broncos, 12 straight divisional road wins. They win the AFC West for the fourth year in a row. It happens so often, maybe sometimes we take it for granted. It's a remarkable run within the division. This has been Paul Klee. Check out, our, check out all of our stuff online at gazette.com. And I will talk with you very soon, probably from Cincinnati next Monday night. We'll talk to you then. Thanks.